This brought tears to my eyes when I started editing it. Let me give you the backstory. On TikTok, somebody posted my comedy clip. Then people on TikTok strip the audio from the comedy clip and mime the words or lip sync them doing it. And I didn't know this had happened. There was a thing on TikTok that says explore. Because women have skills men don't have. I clicked my comedy clip and there are over 10,000 people around the world who took the time to lip sync as if they're doing my jokes that I told on stage. But it blew me away because here I am thinking, oh, I'm just writing jokes. I'm trying to make people laugh. That's been my goal since I was 12 years old. I want to be a comedian. I want to bring laughter to people around the world. And it really hit me that with TikTok and that feature where you can all lip sync it, 10,000, 20,000 people around the world have taken the time to hear my jokes. They don't even know who I am. I did not know who they are. And I pieced them all together into like a montage. So you too can enjoy. And it literally got me a little, just a little, uh, just a little emotional. Because when you got into comedy, you know, at the age of 12 and officially got into it 15 years ago and worked your jokes on stage and you were told you need to quit, you ain't funny, bro hecklers and then people saying you're kind of funny okay i'll pay you uh chicken wings tonight if you come through okay then it turns into gas money then it turns into a hundred dollars for your jokes and you're like i just won the lottery i was paid in chicken wings last week this guy gave me a hundred dollar bill and then you start getting door deals at comedy clubs where they go hey look we hold 400 people here we'll charge 20 dollars a ticket we'll give you half the door oh well, let's see what's half of 400 times 20 eight thousand dollars divided by two Oh, so that's the job. That's the goal. And this is 15 years in the making. These people took the time to take my comedy and make it their own. And it was just, it was just really touching. Enjoy. Because women have skills men don't have. You can't just say I'm a woman. Do something a woman could do. Then I'll believe you. Right? Can you break into my iPhone in the time I go to the bathroom and come back to the dinner table? <laughs> Just something basic. Can you be totally starving but have no idea what you want to eat? <laughs> Some of you know what I'm talking about. Can you turn a compliment into an argument? That's what I want to know. It's like, babe, you look beautiful tonight. So I didn't look beautiful last night. <laughs> You're good. You are good. <laughs> you look so photogenic, so I don't look beautiful in real life. How great is that? And what I loved about that clip and why it was a little touching is I'm seeing people from Africa, Asians. I'm seeing a Latina couple and she's in a bikini laughing in Brazil at this comedy clip that I made for Dry Bar Comedy just a year and a half ago. And... And here we have the media telling us we're all racist. We have to be careful. You have to tiptoe around each other. Each culture is very different. Black people lived a certain way. White people all lived this way. Latinas and Latinxes and Latinxes. No, none of that is true. Comedy is universal. Laughter is necessary. And one thing the radical left always goes after is the ability for us to all sit down together and laugh at our differences and then realize we're actually all the exact same.